What's going on guys, Sam here with Real Legit Fishing, back with another video. And today we're back down here in the studio putting together an instructional video for you guys about last weekend's bass fishing tournament out there on Lake Lanier. Had a huge cold front come in the day before the tournament, really whacked everything up. Everybody had a hard time putting some big fish up there on the board. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to talk about where these fish are going, how to catch them, and a few baits you can use uh, on these post frontal conditions like we had this weekend at the tournament. Now, even though this might be one of the hardest times to fish for you, you had a lot of wind come in, really muddied up the lake a few days before, and now you have high bluebird skies, really tough for the fishing. If you stay in there, stay diligent, and uh, look at some of these tips I'm about to give you, you should be able to catch some big old aggressive bass. Now, these fish aren't like humans that can't just go inside and turn the heat up, throw a jacket on. These fish you have to stay out there in this colder weather after this front, depending on how long that front stays. It could be cold uh, for a few weeks even, which really drops that temperature down, which really messes these fish up. Not only that, but you're also going to have a huge increase in pressure, which also is going to mess these fish up, driving them more towards isolated structure. Now, not only that, but a lot of times in a front, you have a lot of wind that comes in. So that's also going to muddy up the water, driving these fish more towards structure. So you can find these things on timber, you can find them on rock, you can find them on bridge pilings. Just any kind of isolated structure is going to be a great spot to start when you got the fish post frontal conditions. Now next we're going to go into talking about how you're going to be fishing these baits. You might be out there throwing exactly the bait you need to be fishing and exactly where you need to be fishing, but you're still not getting that bite. That probably is because you're just not fishing that bait correctly. First big rule of thumb, decrease the profile size of your bait. It's going to help you a bunch. These fish are really finicky. Everything is kind of whacked up. You're not going to go out there and eat some giant 8 inch swim bait. Uh, decrease your profile size of your bait. Will help a lot with these real finicky fish. Maybe that be a straight tail worm, or maybe a finesse jig. We'll go over that later as far as bait. But uh, like I said, decrease the size of your bait. Should get more bites. Now the main hard part about a front coming in, you got to work for those bites. It takes the active fish out of play. Slow your trolling bar down. Slow your retrieve down. Decrease the size of your bait. You got to really sit out there, work for those bites, and figure out what those fish want. You're not going to go out there, get lucky, find a school of fish, active school, go out there, catch a bunch of fish. You got to sit there, slow down, and really work for those fish. But speaking of that, we're going to go into the baits you're going to use for post frontal conditions. Now going from the most finesse to the least finesse, first throw a shaky head worm, a drop shot, any type of really finesse straight tail worm, it's going to work fine. Drag the thing on the bottom, really small, compact, slow, and should, if you work at it long enough, we'll get some bites. Now next we have a finesse jig, great bait for dragging on the bottom for these really finicky fish, uh, get a good natural color, uh, just drag that thing on the bottom, you should be able to get some bites. Now one big thing I keep in mind, when post frontal or any time these fish are really finicky, decrease the size of that trailer as well as your jig. Same thing we are talking about earlier and uh, still pretty much the same thing. Just decrease that size for these more finicky fish. Uh, some of my favorite missile baits, um, and even Gary Almato makes a great paddle tail uh, trailer for your jigs. Now last you have a chatter bait. You may think I am crazy. Now, this is not a finesse bait. What am I thinking? But it'll still work. We do the same thing with a spinner bait. Run this thing just, just fast enough. They can feel that blade ticking. Uh, good sensitive rod helps as well. So you know uh, you're still getting that blade and that vibration, but it's not going crazy fast that a fish won't eat it. But also it doesn't have a huge profile. Um, still a fairly small bait that a fish can come up and grab. And if you're lucky, you can still get a good reaction bite from this vibration on the chatterbait. All right, guys, well, I think that's going to wrap everything up for today's video. I just want to show you guys a little bit what we're doing last weekend out on Lake Lanier for a bass fishing tournament. But if you guys like this video, make sure to click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Cool.